traveled the world and with the, the Elizabeth Taylor diamond, they always wanted to have it on display, but if an important person, a cust uh, not customer, if an important uh, client came in and wanted to try it on, they took them in the back. And so they put an exact replica and, and the trust has that replica. Mm -hmm. And this is, we gave this to the company that made the jewelry. And right. they, because originally, that when they brought it to us at first, it wasn't exactly like it was clunkier and it sat mm -hmm. up funny and it just so we we gave them the exact it's it, this is exact yes that's all i can say it's exact it's exact so the original stone um was mapped exactly the setting is exact right this stone is exact the cut right. is exact it's absolutely absolutely beautiful we have it in the 33.19 carat which is the original size and then of course we wanted to do it for you in another option that was going to be a little bit more wearable and that is um, going to be 7.2 carats. And the center, this cut, was actually done according to the GIA certificate on the original, which was the Krupp diamond before Elizabeth Taylor owned it. Right, and it was in Asher cut, which it's so beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. so modern, and Elizabeth wore it all the time. She's photographed, it, photographed mm -hmm. in it a lot, and she pretty much wore it every day. You know, the picture of her playing with her, um, with her children in the book and she's holding her youngest baby when she was just born and then the two little boys are there and it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And I think she's wearing this ring in that picture. Is she not? Well, that's the, that's the Mike Todd. Oh, that's that the other the one. That was the Mike Todd. Yeah, ah. it's the ice skating rink diamond. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she called it. I love that. <laughs> that this was is... 29 carats. Oh, there you go. So this was uh, bigger. Oh this is 33 and a third. That's amazing. I know. Amazing, and it's really amazing. important, I said this earlier, but it's really important to keep it clean because it mm -hmm. just looks incredible when it's sparkly. Yeah. And when it gets when it gets dirty, it just it doesn't have the sparkle. And it's such a beautiful stone. It's such a beautiful ring. It's, yeah. it's and you uh, a, a micro fiber uh, jewelry cleaning cloth. That's what right. I that's what I did because I, I cleaned it for Elizabeth. And uh, we used baby shampoo mm -hmm. and a soft toothbrush and scrubbed Gorgeous. it really well inside and out. And, uh, and then dry it off with a microfiber cloth because it'll just look better and, yeah. and creams get on it. It has such a large table. That's the top of the diamond mm -hmm. and it's such a large flat surface so it gets dirty very easily. Right, it really shows any and fingerprints. It and does, it does. So that's one of the things that's important about this ring. It's, it's stunning, but you have, to, you have to keep it clean. Good to know. Uh, it is available in sizes five through 11 beautifully, beautifully done. And it is something where we were showing some of the pictures from the book earlier on of her wearing this ring. And it is one of the pieces she was known for. She had such an amazing collection. I mean, how many women I mean, have it's mesmerizing. a 33.19 and a 29 carat, by the way, that's kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> and a 69 carat. And a 69 carat, don't forget the 69 <laughs> carat on that one. But you you know, this is one of the pieces she was known for. And they and they called it the Krupp diamond before because of who because owned it before Vera her. Because Vera Krupp of the German munitions family owned it. And when she received it from Richard, she thought how, uh, fitting it would be for a nice Jewish girl to own it. Yeah, a little a little ironic twist of history. Well, yes, because the Krupps were not nice people. Mm, <laughs> no. no, they, um, they were. that was not done, uh, that was not good. No. Uh, but I love her sense of irony and her sense of humor at yes. things, which was amazing. So I wanna let you know that over 3,000 of these have already been ordered. The smaller choice is getting very, very limited especially in um, sizes five, eight, 10, and 11. The larger choice at 33.19 carats is very, very popular as well. And we do not have a lot of those to go around either. So I think this is something that is quintessentially Elizabeth Taylor. It is This is the most stunning. iconic piece of jewelry yeah. that she had amongst a lot of iconic pieces. But it's interesting because I've seen versions of it before and I can tell in looking at this that it is right. You know, I've seen versions and they just weren't right. This well, we is... didn't do those versions. No, no, but you know, it was a famous ring and people loved it and what? you know, so they like to make things to kind of look oh like it. Oh my God, well, uh, this, but this is But this one is perfect. It's, it's beautifully, beautifully done and you see the picture of her wearing it here. Right, with Richard, how romantic.
And there she has the 69 carat diamond around her neck and then the, this 33 carat diamond on her finger. Wow. And there at the Scorpion Ball. So Amazing. actually she has the diamond around her neck, the 69 carat and then the crop on her finger. And I have, oh, And a yes. bodyguard, I hope. A um, bodyguard, well, yes. She <laughs> thought she needed bodyguards to protect the jewelry, which <laughs> does make sense, but we thought that the bodyguards needed to protect her, <laughs> but she thought it was just, you know, the jewelry. So here is the 7.2 carat version, which is so interesting because as somebody said to me, would you ever be comfortable wearing a 7.2 carat diamond? Obviously I would like to try it, but I would assume that it would be a larger aesthetic, and I actually love this on, and I think it's very wearable. It's very wearable. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. Yeah, it looks I could modest compared to. Right, now that we've seen, <laughs> I mean, it's, now that we've seen the it's hard, I, you carat. know, I, I come from a different place. So you, you can speak <laughs> to the, the seven and a half carat diamond, and I'll speak it's to the beautiful. 33 carat one. It is, it's beautiful, and it's, it is something that I think you can wear. Um, very, very comfortably. It's not going to be overwhelming. If you, I think either of them, just depending on your style, is going to be stunning. Uh, I do think that the 33.19 carat is going to be something you wear more as fun and beautiful and intriguing. And I think the 7.2 carat is something that's going to blur the lines as far as what someone perceives it is. Mm -hmm. That's true. The 7.2 carat is um, getting very limited. We brought in over 3,000 of just that version of the 7.2, and we have fewer than 700 of those to go around. That's for all of our sizes together on that one. So very, very popular on that ring. And it really is just a gorgeous piece in either size, either size. You can see that Kadisha put on the 7.2 carat version. It's beautiful on her. Um, one of the things that I think is always kind of interesting is if you have a larger ring, I always think that if you wear it on a middle finger, then it makes it look like Almost like you bought it at an estate sale and it was someone else's and it didn't quite fit, so then you have it. Oh, so it's important to get the right size. So I think, well, I think, you know, it kind of depends on what you, you want it to look like. If you want it to look like you had it set and it was bought for you, then get the size to put on your ring finger. And if you want to make it look like, oh, it's at this great estate right, sale and I just I happened to find mean. this amazing ring, then mm -hmm. you can, you know, you can put it on a middle finger if you want to. Obviously, the general way to Elizabeth wear it is going to be on a ring finger. Elizabeth wore them on all fingers. Did she? She wore rings on every finger, not, not her thumb. <laughs> Some people do that. That's true. That's that's true. That's yeah. I couldn't picture. But she her certainly doing. wore pinky rings. You could wear this as a pinky, <laughs> but you'd have to get it in the right size because <laughs> otherwise it would flop. Oh my gosh. Oh, this not... is J three two one one four zero thirty three point nineteen carats on the original seven point two carats on uh, the smaller version. But again, exactly the same cut um, as the original stone was mapped out to be. Stay on the line for that one. Very, very popular. We have, so this was our two hours of the Elizabeth Taylor Jewelry Collection. Uh, whatever is remaining, you can find on qvc.com. Don't forget, we do still have a few of the books available. That is the limited edition collector boxed book that we were talking about that was really, really stunning. Tim, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful seeing you. I'm sorry you're leaving. Oh, thank you. I know, it's a, it's a little bizarre and a little surreal. Coming up she next.